boys. The atmosphere's bobbins. Grab that tambourine. All right, Dad, let's kick a good beat. Meat pie, sausage roll. Come on, old and gizz a go. Meat pie, sausage roll. Come on, old and gizz a go. Ooh, we got a corner. Ooh, we got a corner. Hello and welcome to episode 15 of Pork Pie Sausage Roll. Come on, Oldham, give us a goal. And you join us in the championship and we're sat in 16th on 19 points after 15 games. It's been... It's been alright, really. I can't complain too much. Last time you saw us, of course, we got beaten by Nottingham Forest 3-2 and, of course, lost on penalties to Blackburn in the second round of the Carabo, Carabo whatever it's called, Cup. And uh, we followed that up with a 1-1 against uh, Blackburn in the league then, which... Again, not a fabulous result. Then we managed 4-1 against Sheffield United. Sheffield United, of course, are sat in 19th. They're not having the best of times, uh, unlike real life, of course, uh, who are now in the Premiership. But uh, that was a very, very satisfying result. We then uh, we then lost 4-1 to Norwich, which was quite horrible. But Norwich, of course, doing quite well at the moment. Actually, no, they're only in 12th. I thought they were doing better than that. But, I mean, look at the, the financial quality, shall we say, of their players certainly compared to what we're not getting around i think we've got a three million pound player now but you know anyway moving on we then drew 1-1 with barnsley um wasn't a bad game i felt like we should have done better with it but isn't that always the case and then after that we managed a 1-0 over sheffield wednesday and that was a good game it was very slow um but we played well certainly defensively and uh yeah Nice one to walk away with. Sheffield Wednesday, of course, we were somewhat rivals with back in the day. I say back in the day when we were, you know, hanging around the Premiership um, in the 90s. Uh, Brentford, we then lost 1-0 away. Brentford, I think, were top at the time. They're now second, so they're doing quite well. We then had a horrible, horrible, and I think my worst result since I've been in charge at Oldham, um, against Reading. We got hammered. I mean, just destroyed 6-2. Um, I mean, they scored two in the first two in the first four minutes, and it was just really downhill from there. As you can see, Hunt had a terrible, terrible game. I mean, nobody played particularly well. Castrovilli came off the bench and had a go, but just, just horrible, really. Um, we followed that with a one-one against Villa. That was a good game. Um, we were unfortunate to uh, concede an own goal on 61 minutes, but it was a good, good game. Um, like I say, pleased with that as a result. 1-1 was not bad at all. And then our last game was 1-0 against Millwall. And that was a nice result. Yes, we were at home. We do have a better home record than away record, obviously. But as you can see, it's spotty. Um, but I would say overall, September and October thus far haven't been too bad. Anyway, today's games, we're going to go up against Huddersfield, who are in fifth. They are favourites for that one. But we're then away to QPR after that, who are... Well, the 22nd, so we're actually favourites for that one. So, it'd be nice to get all six points, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we are. Oldham away at Huddersfield. In goal, it is McGee, back four of Ortonechi, Alkins, Nelson and Hunt. In central midfield, Evans and Mauche, left wing, Castrovilli out right. It's Tutino and up front, it is Sechi and Jose. Sechi, of course, is uh, one of the young players I brought in. He's developing quite nicely. It has to be said. Um, he's had two starts for us and not really managed anything, but look at how he's done in non-competitive. Nine starts, three sub-appearances, ten goals. Average rating of 7.73. I think this guy is going to be good. I don't think he's necessarily a wonder kid because it does depend on whether or not that black star is going to be a gold star, but we'll see. Um, nevertheless, six foot three, attack, advance forward. He does also play quite, quite nicely as a target man too. So, yeah, big lad. And uh, good acceleration and pace for his size. So uh, we'll see how well he does today. Other than that, I think you're familiar with everybody else. So, yeah, we're not expected to win this one. So I'm going to passionately say we've got nothing to lose. Because that always seems to work out. Right? As you can see, morale's not too bad. We've, as soon as we have a bit of a bad run with, you know, draws and losses, um... Morale's been dropping, but I've managed to do quite well in terms of uh, having team talks and raising morale and stuff like that. Also praising them on their training performance and criticising them if it's not been good does also raise morale. So that's helped, but we'll see how things go. Tunnel time. 
How much of a boost is Jurgen Lacadia's absence? Um, I think it's unfair to single out individuals in such a manner shows lack of class. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Seems like I'm being a bit of a... Well. Huddersfield kick off. Oldham in the tangerine and black shorts. Oops. And uh, Huddersfield in the white with the blue stripes. I'm just... Actually, we'll wait. We'll wait and see how things go. Harkins to Evans. Well, it's raining at Huddersfield. Pass back to McGee. I feel like we should be maybe maybe counter pressing in this scenario. McGee to Nelson. Slow build up from Oldham Castrovilli. Evans puts the ball forward for Jose who gets on it as a go, but Lossel saves it. It's a corner for Oldham. That's not a bad effort. Well done, mate. Corner to be taken by Castrovilli. Into the middle. Cleared. Oh, oh I see. Mauche did something a bit naughty, did he? Well, at least he didn't get booked. We don't need that. All right, Lossel with the goal kick. Faras Van Lepara billing in the middle. Mauche tackles him. Ramadan tackles him. Totino's on the counter-attack for Oldham now. Ball through to a Jose. A Jose tries to put another one through. Intercepted to Tino again to Jose with a cross in. Cleared by Smith to Moy. Van La Parra counter-attacking now for Huddersfield. Oh, and who did that? Is that you again, Mauche? Check the analyses. Nothing of any note. Okay. It's quite end-to-end, -end, isn't it? Billing for Huddersfield. Van La Smith overlapping. Tries to get a cross in. Gets it second go. Ramadan. It's saved by McGee. That's a good effort, isn't it? I don't know if we should maybe go positive. Or we'll just get creative. McGee with the goal kick. Moy to Billing. Intercepted Mouche to Hunt. Hunt's having a quiet game. He's not really uh, putting major performances yet in this, this uh, division. He has obviously only been... Playing as a backup mostly. Castrovilli now coming forward. Lovely ball for Sechi, but he's not quite on it. Like I say, young player. It's only his third start, I believe. Throw in for Oldham Altineche to Evans to Altineche with the cross, and it's a corner. To be taken by Castrovilli. Look at that. No, nope, cleared by Billing. I'm going to go on to key highlights because we are making an effort, but. Uh, <laughs> a similar effort, I guess. Demand more, maybe? Two shots, two on target. It can't have been that good, otherwise we'd have seen it as a uh, highlight. But uh, nobody's playing particularly badly, but nobody's playing particularly amazing either. Let's get some... Let's be creative. And you know what? I'm going to put some positive and see how that goes. Goal kick from Huddersfield. Moy coming forward. Smith for Huddersfield. Ayose. Puts it out to low. Billing now in the middle. Ramadan cutting in. And that's a lovely little goal. Ramadan Sobi. Places it in the corner. Well, bit of a bullet to be fair. Yep, low to Billing. Ramadan from outside the box. It's a very good goal. Show some passion, boys. We can do better, surely. Low with a free kick for Huddersfield, and oh my goodness, that wasn't ideal. Positive doesn't appear to be doing it. Let's go back to balance. Maybe go back to regrouping. Well, Altineche, you need to calm the heck down. As do you, Mr. Castrovilli. Just chill. Well, that didn't help. Okay, well, we've had seven shots apparently with seven on target, but we're still 1-0 down. 57%. But yeah, Rob Hunt lost possession, he's, and he's our captain. That doesn't help matters either, does it? Poor old Rob, I think you're... Uh, I think you're done for the day. Edwards is coming on. 
Who else should I be talking to? Sechi. Tino. Oh, or Teneche. You know what? Curtis is coming on for you. <laughs> I'm just going to replace the defence. Hawkins for Edmondson. There you go, look. It's an entirely new defence. Actually, let's change this around. Inside forward support, winger attack. Edwards, I know, prefers to be on attack. We're going to put him on support today. And Curtis, you're going to go on attack. I'm sure he will do a lovely job back there. Dressing room. I don't want to sympathise. I want to passionately say. Show me something else. See how that goes. Kick off with Oldham. I wonder if it should be a uh, oh, demand more kind of situation. Perhaps not. Ball cleared. Fernandez picks it up for Huddersfield. Ramadan now coming forward. Puts it out wide for Van La Para. Cross in to Sacco who puts it just over. We're not looking good at all here, are we? I'm not sure what else to say other than go. Let's try that. Seven shots, eight, nine. It's just. Okay, what's the analysis say? Come on, boys. We're only one nil down. It's only 66 minutes. We can salvage this. Castrovilli needs to chill the heck out. Filling with the throw in. Huddersfield again. Oh my crikey, that was too close for comfort. So close I couldn't even talk about it. Mauche, I'm going to put you on support. Evans, you can stay as you are. Uh, we've got no more subs to make, so we're just stuck with all of that, aren't we? Um, I wonder if we go like this and swap those two fellows over and see if Sechi... And I hope they do a bit better. Show some passion, boys. We're having the shots. Why aren't we getting the goals? That's what I want to know. Corner, Castrovilli to take it. Oh my goodness. Another corner. That was a bit too close. Something happened to Sechi there. I think somebody got in his way. Castrovilli takes the other corner. Almost cleared. Evans. Yeah. Danny Williams is shot by Sechi. Oh, behave yourself, Sechi. Come on. McGee passes out to Nelson. We're on 89 minutes. If we're going to equalise, we need to do it in the next couple of minutes because time is kicking on. Sechi to Tutino. Lovely one, too. Tutino to Mauche. I don't think that went as well. Evans. Sechi. Oh, my goodness. That was just wide. That was a lovely, lovely shot. Part of me wonders if Sechi should have gone off at half time and. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Curtis. I know it's my fault for putting you in there. <sighs> well, dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, um, Jose's picked his game up a little bit, but Sechi is just not having a good time, is he? Huddersfield on the attacks, 91 minutes. We've got about 30 seconds to survive at only one nil down. Oh, Curtis. I feel like I should just go all out attack. Whistle's got to blow now, surely. For the throw in gums, that's what normally happens. It's got to be it. Surely. There you go. They played the advantage. Sorry, I was a bit quiet at the end there. I'm just a little bit disappointed in that result. I'm not lying to you. I'm going to tell them so. Good effort. Fine, I backed out on that. Okay, a couple of things I'm just going to mention. You probably noticed there's a little bit of background noise, or at least more than usual. Um, I've got about three fans going. We have an absolutely scorching day, and it's really warm in here. So, sorry about that. Um... Bringing you back just before the game, I wanted to show you the league table. Um, 
interestingly Leeds are having a stinking season like a literally a stinking season 16 games only one win and three draws 12 losses it's their manager just got sacked um, but yeah kind of not what you might expect from Leeds I mean I think they've got some yeah some pricey players in there 10 million plus players who maybe don't want to uh, go down but yeah a little bit unfortunate for Leeds there Okay, this time now for Oldham away at QPR in goal. It's McGee, a back four of Ortoneche, Hawkins, Nelson, and Hunt in central midfield. Evans and Mauche, left wing Tutino, right wing Castrovillian up front. It's Empen and Jose Empen, not doing too bad this season, but not getting a massive number of starts. There's, uh, yeah, he's been a substitute more often than not, but he has managed five goals and two assists, so he's getting a start today. Um, and Jose, of course, as you know, used to playing with him. He's, I'm not going to say struggling because he's doing all right. But uh, I don't know. Not Obviously not doing quite as well as he did in League One, I guess is the point. But uh, Castrovilli doing fantastically. And, of course, Tutini playing on the left instead of the right for a change. Dressing room. Encourage the players, giving them a round boost. Okay, passionately. We're the underdogs. Oh no, let's go for uh, revenge. Avenging what happened last time we played QPR, which I believe was when they knocked us out of the Carabao Cup last season. I think so. Anyway. So we'll try that. And we'll kick off. It is Oldham in the tangerine with the black shorts and QPR in the white and blue hoops. Let us go straight to full match. Luongo coming forward, Ravel puts it out wide to Smythe, Ortonechi picks it up, they're already on the attack. Um, maybe we should be a bit more positive. Ortonechi, Mauche, Evans. I don't feel like there's a lot of progression here. Totino now on a run forward, finds Empen. Empen to Evans, Evans puts it out wide for Hunt. Hunt tries the cross, but it's off the defender. And giving Hunt another opportunity, mainly because Edwards is a little bit tired. Hunt, of course, is our captain. Castrovilli tries for the cross, but it's a throw-in for QPR. Castrovilli, Castro, Castrovilli has been absolutely phenomenal. He's been fantastic. Um, very, very pleased with him as a purchase. He's, you know, part of the new regime, I guess, because I certainly intend to be keeping him when we go up to the premiership I, I suggest he's probably going to be more of a squad player then but certainly while we're in the championship he's going to be one of our key players Gustafsson puts it out wide to Harding for QPR tries a cross and it's just off the defender oh Evans tackles him puts the ball forward for Empen Hill gets to it and puts the ball straight back I tell you what I'm going to go key highlights for now but I'm also going to tell our lot to get creative and see how that goes. Because we're doing alright. Well, we appear to be playing well enough. I see absolutely no reaction to get creative, is it? One shot, one on target. Well, they're hammering us, so... I'm going to try to demand more then. Maybe that didn't take. Here we go. Harding with a throw in for QPR. Oh, Jose on the counter-attack now. Empen. Through on goal. And it's saved by the keeper, but that was a nice little effort there. Castrovilli with the free corner, sorry, to Tino. Evans in the box still, forces another corner. Castrovilli to take it into the middle. Totino's on the edge. Castrovilli with another cross. Empen's a bit wide now to grab it. Ortonecce coming up to support. Well, we were obviously up to something. Four shots, two on target. This is more like it. Come on, boys. Throwing from Harding for QPR to Smythe. Luongo puts it forward. Freeman to Smythe again. Come on, Oldham. Ravel. Freeman with a long shot, which clearly McGee thought that was getting too close, so we had a go at getting it. I think we should demand more. I need to actually have a look at my analyses. Yes. Press Luke Freeman like it's Christmas. Um, that doesn't mean anything, does it? I'm sorry. Come on, Empern. Let's try to demand more. 
win the opportunity. Oh, it's half time. Well, we've had a better possession, but they've had the more shots. I feel like we could do a bit better. Go on in. More revenge. I, do you know what, Empen? I think I need to take you off because. Uh, he said, no good. We can't have those kind of behavior. Thierry Ambrose. I don't want to know. Sechi, maybe. Let's bring on Thierry Ambrose. He doesn't get enough opportunities considering he is the most well paid player at this club. I made a mistake. I, I broke the bank for this guy and. Uh, I don't think that was a smart decision on my part. That being said, he has scored a few goals, but two of those are penalties. I'm just saying. Um, nevertheless, I don't think he's eight grand a week, but I'm stuck with him for a couple of seasons because I didn't think it through. Um, that being said, he's not doing badly. I may be completely wrong about him, and I do hope that I am. But he's on now. Um, let's start the second half with a show some passion. I'm going to try counter-pressing as well and see if that improves our fortunes a bit. Don't be frustrated. Oh, we haven't had any more... Let's check the analyses. Any more highlights? Demand more. Hey, up. Oldham just scored and I missed it. And it looks like it was Castrovilli because I was too busy mucking around in the settings. As always. Hunt with the free kick. Lovely. Castrovilli right onto his left foot, it looked like. Might have been his right foot. That was nice. Well done, Oldham. Well, most people are playing alright. Ambrose is not. I wonder... If Ambrose wants to be a target man on support. And a Jose should be an advanced... Oh, let's go for a poacher. Go on, be a poacher, a Jose. See how that goes. One more demand more and see. Go on, Ambrose. Pick your game up. Corner. Castrovilli to take it for Oldham. Totino's there. Ambrose. He picks up the rebound. And I said, pick your game up. And what did he do? Put us 2 0 up. Thierry Ambrose. Fourth goal of the season. I'm going to start you in the next match, just so you know. Castrovilli's lovely delivery. Totino gets on it. But Ambrose gets. The rebound, and Heaton is beaten. Yes, this is revenge for knock us out of the cup last season. Well, it's coming up to the end of the match. 93 minutes. Castorelli's free kick. Cleared by Harding. Totino picks it up, but Mauche. That's it. The whistle is blown. QPR nil. Oldham 2. That's a much, much better result than the last one. I wasn't sure for a while there. I'm not to, I'll not lie to you. Tell the boys they did well. Passionately. That was really special. Although I'm surprised because I thought we were favourites and they aren't doing so well and yet we're treating it like you just won the FA Cup. But I get confused with that sometimes. I don't know if it's a transitional thing where we've just come up and... Who knows. Okay, let's have a little review after that. And uh, that leaves us in 17th place on 22 points. We're not safe yet. We are 10 points ahead of QPR, bless them. But uh, like I say, it's going to be tight. We are only 17 games and it's going to be a 46-game season. So there's still a ways to go. But like I say, when we play well, that's the sort of thing we're capable of. And uh, it's just unfortunate that we rarely seem to be able to squeeze the, rins, uh, squeeze the wins together. But uh, poor Olympen struggled. He had a good moment and then it just sort of dropped off and I'm not sure why. Um, he's another one I would like to see do better, but a little bit hit and miss. Like I say, he's managed to score some goals, which is great. A Jose. Well, 6.6, 6.6, 6.5. You can see what I mean. He's not really uh, performed all that well. I mean, he managed a 6.9 in that last game, but again, he's not been not been doing great, unfortunately. I feel like he should be doing better. I should check this just for a moment. Yeah, he should be a decent player for most championship sides. So maybe I'm just, maybe Trekatista is not where he wants to be at the moment. And I should look at that because uh, I do have a couple of target men. 
I do have some, uh, albeit youngsters, I do have some advanced forwards that I can rotate around. Uh, again, some youngsters in there, so there are options. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching.